Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to put MGS3 in higher resolutions, thanks to a patch uh, first. And then I'm going to show you how to set up your controller so uh, it feels way better, uh, kind of like a PS3 version. Uh, so first thing, uh, you're going to download the two zip files for the patch. Uh, the link is in the tweet. Um, and uh, you're going to have four files on those zips. So you're going to take those four files and you're going to go into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, MGS3 folder. And you paste it there. And then MGS Resolution Patch INI. You're going to open it with a WordPad and you can edit it. So you edit with your own uh, resolution. So I put a 1920 by 1080. That's my uh, screen resolution, but you can do something else if you have a different screen, so you can try. Okay, that's the first thing to do. Uh, then you're going to go into your NVIDIA panel. Uh, I assume you have a NVIDIA graphic card. If you don't, I, I don't know, but with NVIDIA it works like that. So you go into 3D settings, program, and you can add a program. So I already added uh, MGS Tra MGS3 EXE, Metal Gear Solid 3 EXE, right there. And then you're going to go on Anisotropic Filter, and you force it to says X, 16X, sorry. And then you apply, and you leave. Then you can start um, Steam and your game. And you can uh, pretty much uh, start your MGS3 games to see if you have a constant 60 FPS. To uh, show the FPS, you go in Steam settings, uh, in-game, and in-game FPS counter. You can put it top left, top right, wherever you want. And then you can see your uh, FPS in-game. So I already tried mine, and I have constant 60 FPS. If you lose frames during cutscenes, codecs, loading, stuff like that, it's perfectly normal, so don't worry. But you need 60 FPS when you are playing during gameplay. If it works, it means your uh, computer can handle this. And then we can go to the next part. The next part is the controller. So first thing, you're going to go on your game, MGS3. You click uh, Properties. You go on controller there and you use enable steam input right there and then you have to restart your uh, steam when you do that so exit steam restart okay so now you go in your library you click on mgs3 and then you have controller layout over there. You click on it. This is your uh, controller right there. You click on edit layout. First with the button on X right there. X or square if you are using a PS4 controller, but I'm using Xbox controller. So on X right there, you're gonna click on the wheel and you click add extra command. You go on keyboard click on the U, the U key, and there you click on the wheel next to the U key, settings, fire start delay, you choose 100, 100. And then you leave like that. So that's the first thing. Then you go into a uh, joystick, I mean triggers, sorry, triggers. So right trigger behavior. So first you're gonna, on soft pull, on the right trigger, you're gonna add command, gamepad, right trigger. Um, then you click here, settings, and here, fire start delay, you choose 50. And then you close. And then on right trigger behavior, you click on the settings right there. Threshold trigger style, you choose simple threshold. 
and here analog output trigger you choose analog off and you do the exact same thing for the left trigger so gamepad left trigger settings fire start delay 50 here simple threshold analog off okay and then last thing you're gonna go into joystick so uh, on MGS3 when you press the left joystick when you click on the left jo joystick snakes hold up his weapon and when you click it again he holds down his weapon so some people like it but it can be annoying sometimes when you try to quick reload and stuff like that so you can remove that you simply on left click you click on the wheel over there you go into uh, remove command so and then the last thing if you don't want if you don't want to mash for uh, the cutscenes so right now keep in mind the speed run of master collection mgs3 is not uh, on any leaderboard it's not uh, you, you cannot submit for now so it's just you you can run the game but you cannot submit there's no category officially so if you want to add um, the the turbo for the cutscenes you can so what i do here on right click i click here on the right click stick and i click a or x and then here i click in settings hold to repeat enabled repeat re rate 10. and that's all